Alright, Mirror from Thermal-Max.com. Finally got the sucker to kick on. Time delay. Anyway, let's watch our gauges in action here. Low side's dropping down, high side's coming up. We would expect to see that. Normal operation. We got a living space down there, or basically it's like 95, 100 degrees inside the room. So we're gonna expect some pretty high temperatures, and that's or high pressures is what we're seeing. Um, because it's just trying to reject all that heat that's down there and flow it across the coil. So what do we got on the high side, which is our red gauge right over we got 350 PSIG. That transitions to a liquid line temperature of about 143, 142, 143 um, degrees of liquid. That's in that liquid line. And on the low side, we're running about 70, uh, about 75, 77, 78 PSIG. Translate to a suction line temperature of 50 degrees. That's our saturation temperature inside the evaporator coil. You guys can call me, write me, we can talk about this some more. Um, a lot of the stuff is real specific to what's going on inside the house in terms of temperature, load on the unit, airflow, things like that, and then what we, how we get superheat and subcooling, which are two really important things that are going to tell us a lot about what's going on um, with the level of refrigerant. Because this will basically tell us what's going on temperature and pressure wise the refrigerant but we got to go ahead and get our, get into the inside the unit get some temperature clamps inside and hooked onto some uh, suction line and liquid line positions to get a liquid line temperature and a suction line temperature to go ahead and give us our superheat and subcooling and that tells the whole story folks that's what it's all about superheat subcooling anybody that charges units the beer can method or just dumping gas in to get them to a certain pressure is just full of you know what so um, there's some art and uh, science to the whole process, but that's basically how we do it. Uh, welcome, Craig, and uh, thanks for watching thermal